guys, it's time for this month's So You Like, my monthly recommendation series where I take a piece of media that I've enjoyed in the past month or so and suggest some things that you might enjoy if you, like me, enjoyed it. This month is very late, so uh, please don't, uh, please don't judge me too harshly because I did have a lot going on. So, this month's piece of media is The Mandalorian, which we're getting the season two at the moment. It's been uh, coming out this month, so I thought, oh, let's, let's just take you through season one and see some other stuff that uh, kind of basically comes through with season two as well. The things that we're going to pick out from The Mandalorian are the fact that it's a space western set in an expanded universe of a popular media franchise, and it's it's got a very protective relationship between a father and adopted child, or, well, a father of, yeah, you know, there's a lot of found family stuff in there, so it's, uh, it's, it's cute. The first thing that I'm going to recommend to you based on The Mandalorian is the most obvious one of all. It's Firefly. It's a space western set in a big world made by Joss Whedon. It only got a single season and a movie, but it, it was not... It's very good, but it's, it would have probably deteriorated if it had gone on further. But it's good. It's good, and The Mandalorian and it... Yeah, both space westerns, both have found family dynamics heavily involved in them. I think it just works. The second thing that I'm going to recommend to you based on The Mandalorian is Contest by Matthew Riley. Now, this book is, uh, it's a bit of an interesting one. A uh, guy gets kidnapped from Earth to a different part of Earth by aliens and forced to compete in a contest of, well, deadliness. He, uh, he, he killed a guy in self-defense and his uh, reaction times made him like the the Earth's candidate for this, which is interesting. But uh, the, it's also Earth's turn to host this contest. Uh, and none of them know about it because obviously we're not aware of aliens in the, the time that that happens. So it's a, it's a, it's a huge mess, because, especially because alongside the guy who gets kidnapped himself, well, his daughter ends up getting taken along with him, and so what ends up happening is that he has to look after his daughter quite extensively throughout this alien contest that's got people just trying to hunt them down, and well, if that doesn't sound like something coming from The Mandalorian, I don't know what does. The next thing that I want to recommend to you based on The Mandalorian is The Clone Wars TV Show. Again, another very obvious one. I just, yeah, especially with a lot of the elements from Season 2 coming out of The Clone Wars TV Show, you might want to go back and watch The Clone Wars Animated Show so that, you know, it's, uh, it's fresh in your mind when things come up such as a certain uh, Mandalorian commander in the uh, second season, and apparently some other characters that will be showing up later on. I'm very excited. Another fairly obvious one for the next thing, which is God of War the video game. Protective dad-son relationship on a journey to go and find out some stuff, and it's just, yeah, it, it works. They could honestly adapt either, and it would look very similar to the other one, but with different aesthetics. It's just, story-wise, they both kind of work pretty well off each other. The next thing I'm going to recommend to you based on The Mandalorian is New Menera, which is a RPG developed by Monty Cook, and it uses the Cypher system. It was the, the one that really started the Cypher system, and it just, so much of the setting just really works, because there's bizarre stuff, there's bounty hunters, there's advanced technology that people don't know about anymore, or just, yeah, it's just crazy, and it's good, and honestly, I'm really considering making The Mandalorian as uh, a character in New Menera next time I play. It would be great. And the last thing that I want to recommend to you based on The Mandalorian is Mistborn The Final Empire. Now, there's just so much that could be said about this in comparison with The Mandalorian. The fact that, you know, Kelsier and Vin have a similar relationship in a lot of ways to 
the Mandalorian, uh, Jin Djarin, and uh, and the, the the child, but also like Sezed has a similar relationship in some ways, and da, 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 there's all sorts of stuff that could be said to do with that. And I just I just think there's a lot a lot that could be really gone into on that front. It's also kind of, you know, both of them are kind of dystopian in a lot of ways. And the sequel series to Mistborn, the uh, the, the Alloy of Law period, uh, the the second Mistborn one, the the Mist uh, the um Wax and Wayne, they uh they they go even further and have like, you know, Western style shit in there as well. And it's just it's just good. It's just good. Mistborn's one that I always end up recommending. So, you know, why not? It just applies to so many different things. So those are my recommendations if you, like me, enjoyed The Mandalorian. I'd love to know, so let me know down there what you thought of my recommendations. I'd love to know, so let me know down there. I hope that you enjoyed this video and that you remember to like and share it and subscribe to my channel. Click on the thumbnails over there to see other videos by me, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!